Welcome back. A few videos ago we did a teardown of this uh, little inexpensive uh, Bluetooth speaker. Uh, we saw that the voice prompts that this thing gives you when you turn it on or you change modes or whatever were stored or appear to be stored on a little 8-pin flash ROM that's sitting there on the board. A question came up. The question was if we disable the flash ROM, will we get back like the original prompts or maybe just some sounds or something? So, I don't know, that's a good question. I uh, thought we'd find out today. So I'm gonna tear this back open and we'll see if removing that flash ROM will give us just like some generic sounds or something. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll just turn it on here so we can get an idea of, the, of what it says now. So if you switch it on, Mode. Immediately goes into Bluetooth mode there. If we hit the M button, which is this one right here, it'll go into radio mode. Radio mode. Okay. And it's pretty loud. <laughs> and then if we hit these buttons, I guess it's supposed to like scan through this. The, yeah, it just scans through the stations there. Alright, playing then if we I'll go back to Bluetooth mode here. Bluetooth mode. We stick in like a little USB device. Radio mode. That's funny. I said nothing. <laughs> it just went back to radio mode. It seems to default to radio mode. Bluetooth we can't mode. find anything else. Let's stick in a little flash or a micro SD in here. Play by TF card. Radio mode. See if it Play can. Play by TF card. Radio mode. Okay. Did things double there for a Bluetooth sec. Bluetooth mode. And if we stick in like a eighth inch jack to the auxiliary input right here, it should automatically switch to that too. Auto input. Yeah, like that. So let's Bluetooth see. Oops. Mode. So let's see what it does if we take off that ROM. The device in question is that little guy right there. So I'm going to use the hot air and then I'm just going to pull it off and we'll try it again and see what sorts of uh, sounds it gives us or if it even works. Who knows? Maybe there's some like configuration stuff stored on that. No idea. So let's find out. All right. That's that. All right, I've got everything reconnected here. Uh, ROM has been removed, as we can see it sitting in the back over here. So let's uh, go ahead and power it up and see what sort of sounds it makes this time. If it does anything at all, no idea. Uh, uh, it's not doing anything. Yeah, I think it needs that ROM. It's doing absolutely nothing now. There was an LED on the board there, but even that's not flashing anymore. Let's see, let's hit the mode button, see if it does anything. Hey, there it goes. It flashed. Like once. Oh, <laughs> the mode button flashes if I hit the, see if I push the button, when I push the button. So, yeah, it does appear that it does need that flash or something out of that flash. It, the controller chip here tries to read something from that chip, from that flash and since it can't load it, apparently it just uh, won't do anything at all. So, let's uh, put it back and see if it still works. I mean, I don't think I messed anything else up, but, I mean, no guarantees. Okay, so flash is back on. Let's power it up again and see if it still works. So I'm expecting just to get the the same prompt I was uh, saying before. So let's see. Oh, there it goes. LED's on. So yeah. So there's stuff stored on there that it requires to to operate. Well, I hope that kind of answers that question. 
maybe we can uh, investigate this a little bit further later on like uh, maybe add some wires or something probe the the data lines uh, see what sort of um, like data the controller is requesting from the flash I'm probably gonna have to get like a few things set up for that so I think for now this one here is just gonna be a, a quick little video it's, I would be kind of interested in knowing if you know you could like say rewrite that flash to say something else when you change modes or or whatever the biggest downer is that you know we can't get a data sheet for that controller that would uh, kind of help a lot in like knowing what it's, it's looking for what it wants and how that data like configures the operation of this the whole bluetooth uh, speaker system here for now i guess just uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys around the bench